Well, today, a Huntsville bank is stepping up to say thank you to a lot of local responders, uh, uh, first responders by giving them a free meal. So Redstone Federal Credit Union's first responders lunch and actually starts at 11. It's at the Atrium on Wind Drive. They'll be serving barbecue that you can either just enjoy there or you can take it to go if you have to. But again, this is at Atrium on Wind Drive for all of those first responders. Those first responders deserve this. Yes, they do. Coming up on 635 and this morning, we now have a better idea of how medical marijuana dispensaries will operate in the Rocket City. And Wait 31's Luke Hydas joining us live right now, but details from last night's city council meeting where that was a hot topic, Luke. Yeah, big piece on the agenda last night for sure drew a lot of attention from a lot of people, Chris and Megan. Uh, and the big theme through that entire conversation was really logistics, trying to figure out where these dispensaries are going across Huntsville. Want to make sure that they don't have, uh, end up anywhere uh, near a school, for instance, or a daycare or anything like that that could possibly impact children or, or a similar group. So fortunately for city leaders here in Huntsville, the Alabama Medical Can Cannabis Commission it's really done a lot of the legwork to lay out these types of rules. So now all city councilors have to do is take those rules and apply them to Huntsville. Now, even though council appears to be fully a go with a medical marijuana plan, they are still not thrilled when it comes to the idea of recreational pot. City leaders made clear last night that that's not coming to Huntsville or Alabama, for that matter, anytime soon. They say they're allowing medical marijuana in the Rocket City to get some help to those who need it. Veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, senior citizens, cancer patients uh, near the end of life, people with autism have all seen uh, a lot of benefits from using medical cannabis and Huntsville has significant population. Now, City Council is scheduled to vote on this in less than two weeks. If it passes, though, do not expect to see any of these dispensaries until at least mid-2023. Reporting live in Huntsville this morning, Luke Hyde-Ash, 31 News.